The National Super Alliance, NASA, is grappling with the challenge of taming a possible internal rebellion that threatens to split the coalition, as members of affiliate parties appear to defy their principles in scrambling for various positions. A list of the proposed names for leadership positions in Parliament found its way to the Speaker's office, only for NASA leader Raila Odinga to disown it. Dan Kanhaimba with that story. NASA leader Raila Molo Odinga, a proclaimed engineer of Kenyan politics, could be facing a tough challenge once again. With a fresh presidential election to strategize on, IBC reform's agenda before October 17th on the other hand, and now political undercurrents of rivalries among NASA affiliate parties occasioned by power struggles. Despite the four principles and members agreeing unanimously, that there will be no sharing of positions in parliament until after the fresh presidential elections during their parliamentary group meeting last week. A list of five names was sent to parliament. It is believed to have been generated by one of the principals, indicating that Moses Wetangula will be Senate Minority Leader with ODM's John Badi for the National Assembly, deputized by NC's Ayub Savula, while Wipers Robert Mbui as the new chief whip, who will be deputized by Ford Kenya's Chris Wamalwa, a list that sparked uproar forcing NASA leader Raila Odinga to step in. Honorable Moses Vitangula is our leader in the Senate, and Honorable uh, John Barry is our leader in the National Assembly. But beyond that, um, no other uh, list has been prepared. It will be negotiated uh, and, and, and will be agreed upon. But despite that assurance, a section of NASA members of parliament have expressed conflicting positions, which portrays a picture of power intrigues bedeviling the opposition outfit. There's no one who is entitled that me at so and so. It must be a delicate balance. It is the principle of give and take. The decision making process of NASA is actually controlled by the summit. And uh, the information we have is that uh, the summit had agreed on only two names. That is uh, Honorable Bombardi and Honorable Wetangula. Uh, as a partner within the NASA coalition, we did believe and understand that each party would also obviously get a slot. So for WIPA, we discussed and our position was the whip, which is uh, the position that uh, the party settled on. In the National Assembly, ODM has 62 members elected in constituencies, 11 women representatives and three nominated MPs, making a total of 76 members, followed by WIPA, which has 19 elected, three women representatives and one nominated member bringing their number to 23. Mudavadi's NC party has 12 elected at the constituencies, one woman representative and one nominated, giving them 14 seats, while Ford Kenya has 12, 10 elected at the constituency, one woman representative and one nominated MP. Both WIPE and Ford Kenya insist the said list will not change, but sources say ODM is determined to have alliance share owing to its numerical strength in both houses. ODM MPs from the coast region are demanding a slot in the House leadership, arguing that they deliver 21 seats, almost matching ANC and Ford Kenya. We must also be consulted so that within this delegate balance, there's a proper negotiated formula that will carry everyone along. But if one, if one thinks he's the one who is entitled to some positions, he wants to one take it all, then we'll also go and square it out so that we get an amicable solution on the way forward. Our focus now is not in sharing uh, uh, parliamentary position. Our focus is in dealing with the big matter before us, the issue of presidential election. Members of WIPA have no issues with the, with the list. Uh, I do know for sure that uh, members of Ford Kenya have no problem with the list. 
members of ANC have also no problem with the list. And I want to be honest, the problem we have with ODM is simply because there are very many. NASA might have delayed proposing some of its members to various House committees to focus on next month's presidential election. However, if the current political undercurrents within the system is anything to go by, then this could be a ticking time bomb if not properly managed. Duncan Heimba, KTN News, Nairobi.